Shalom. Before we end this video, we give all praise on and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rechakwadash. Also as well, uh, double honors to the apostles and the others of Great Millstone. That continue to move very well to this very day. That is continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai. And also as well, uh, Shalom to the Hofi Lake as well that's continually laboring his work. It's also giving you due diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith and true sincerity and also in all charity. Now, um, the time of this video is going to be uh, centered around, you know, as a recent recent occurrence that took place during the Passover, um, which really, you know, as you can see, you know, I'm not going to play the video, but, um, you know, in this video, it shows you uh, Sakari. Uh, basically turning uh, the Passover into a club, you know, basically a club party. Okay? Which goes to show you that, that these guys are completely carnal. Okay? There's, there, there is no spiritual bone in their bodies. Okay? I mean, here it is, man. We're, we're in the midst of the, uh, of, the, of the Passover and you have stuff like this that's going on. You have, you know, rioting and, you know, all types of types of other madness that's going on. And, you know, this is completely anti, if I can use that word. You know, it's, it's not of the spirit of Yahweh about Shemel Shai that they're doing this. Okay, there's no way. You know, and Sakari, or should I say, um, Alizé, which you go by the name of Alizar, you know, he knows good and well that during this time, a, a lot of things happen during the Passover. Okay? We, we've seen it happen over and over again each year with the Passover, man. And this year makes it no different. Okay? There's always things that happen, you know, major things and spiritual things that happen around the time of the Passover, but you, you're right now, you're starting to see an influx of Israelites who um, indulge, for lack of a better term, or subscribe to this way of practicing, practicing or, or um, remembering and conducting the Passover. You know, this this is unacceptable, man. You know? And also it gotten to the point now to where they have strippers in the uh, during the Passover, man. You know, here it is, man. It's, it's a solemn feast day. A, a day that's dedicated to our Lord Yahweh Shai because this this Passover, the Passover that we take part in is Yahweh Shai's Passover. Okay? And this is a time to where we reflect and examine ourselves and also as well, you know, to remember the marvelous works of Yahweh Shai. Okay? That that's is what the Passover is for. It's not to celebrate, you know, your or to make yourself look like a fool, you know, during this time. Okay, because that's exactly what they're doing. They're showing themselves as fools, man. You know, I'm just going to call it like it is. Okay? If Yahweh Shai was here on the planet Earth today and he observed this and what's going on, he would curse every single one of you niggas out. Okay? Because this this, this is unacceptable. You know, I, I can't say it any other way. All right? But this, this also goes to show you that... Um, you know, difference between who really believes and who doesn't. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the precepts. I'm, I'm not going to make this video too long. You know, brothers have, you know, uh, called this out, you know, also made videos on this as well. I'm just going to put my two cents in. Um, <clears throat> this is the book of uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 7. And now I'm slacking if my, if my voice sounds raspy. You know, I um, had a rough day today. But, um, this is the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 7. It says, because the carnal man is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. Okay. And that's the point. The carnal mind is enmity 
enmity means to be made an enemy. Okay? You're, you're, you're being made an enemy to the Most High. Okay? Like it says here, where it is not subject to the law of the Most High. Now, they talk about, you know, keeping the law. You know, keeping the law says the commandments, but here it is. They can't properly keep the Passover. Okay? Because again, uh, the Passover is a solemn feast day. So again, it says, for it's not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. See, and, and what they were doing, all right, and go back to it, what, what they were doing, right, was of the flesh. You know, this, this, you know, this the dancing and, 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 and driving that they're doing, you know, that's of the flesh, man. Okay, it's not of the spirit. You know, the, the apostles that were there during the time of the Passover when the Lord was uh, breaking bread with the uh, apostles, which during that time they were called disciples. You know, they weren't dancing and nothing like that. No, man, they were in a, in a solemn spirit. They, they were in happiness because Yahweh Shai told them, said, look, he's going to be betrayed and he's going to be given up to the Romans. Now, that was a, a heavy vibration that was going on during that time. Also, as well, during the time when it was coming out of the land of Egypt, that was a heavy time. You know, Israelites wasn't, you know, dancing and carrying on during the time when that death angel was going out through the land of Egypt. No, man, we were fearing for our lives. We were hoping that the death angel, which, if you can receive it, uh, the death angel is uh, Yahweh Shai. Okay. So while Yahweh Shai was going through killing all the firstborn, you know, we was hoping that that Yahusha would pass over us. Okay? And that's how we feel today, man. Okay? And it's it, it is obvious that these guys don't have the blood, you know, splattered upon the doorposts. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Okay? Now, I'll continue on in Romans 8. Oh yeah, I said verse nine. It says, uh, "But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his. You see that? So, if any man don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, and that's that's what you saw, man. And that's what we see with these guys. They don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai." And it's obvious because again they they, they uh, hang their hat on the law. So they're of the flesh. So guess what? They're none of Yahushai. They don't that they're not his disciples. Okay. Now we're moving from there. Um we have another precept. Then this is a second Maccabees chapter six. And uh, I'm gonna start at uh starting verse 1. Now, this is indicative to, uh, you know, this is similar to what was taking place during the time of the uh, the Greek and Roman Empire because, you know, in this scripture, it talks about the defiling of the temple, right? And in this case, you know, these guys are defiling the, the, the solemn feast day. They're defiling the Passover, Okay. Which is uh, similar to what two thirds of our people were doing during that time and what they took part in. Okay. Now uh, this is concerning the Gentiles, right? This is our Second Maccabees chapter six verse one. It says, uh, "Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of their fathers and to not and not to live after the laws of the Most High." And to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem, and to call it the temple of Jupiter Olympius, and that in Gerizim of Jupiter, the defender of strangers, as they did desire that dwelt in the place, the coming in of this mischief was sore and grievous to the people. 
for the temple was filled with riot and reveling by the Gentiles. And at this point, you know, they call themselves Hebrew Israelites, but, you know, in their spirit, you know, they're behaving just like the Gentiles, just like the natural Gentiles. They're bringing in that old man, all right, that, that nigga mentality into this truth, which is a, a Gentile like mentality. Okay? So, the same way that the Gentiles were in the temple, they were riding, they were reveling, that, that's what these guys are doing, man. Okay? That's why they're. I mean, through the Spirit, we, we can perceive that these guys are not of the temple of the Most High. They're, they're not of Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, who dallied with harlots and had to do with women with the circuit of the holy places and besides that brought in things that were not lawful. Okay? So, this was concerning the temple, right? And what was going on during that time. But again, you know, concerning the, the, the Passover, which is a, a holy, you know, a, a, a high holy day and a solemn feast day. You know, they, basically these guys were in the spirit of writing. Uh, they're in the spirit of, you know, basically dallying with harlots, you know, with strippers on a, on a holy day. On, on a holy day, man, think about it. On a, on a, a high holy day, a Passover, you would dally with harlots. You would dally with uh, strippers. Okay? That's why the, the Lord is going to do something terrible to these guys, man. Okay? It's only a matter of time before, you know, the Lord actually does, you know, basically bring down heavy judgment on these guys for doing that, man. Okay? Because that's not right. And Sakari is not right, and they know it. Okay? And that's why uh, Sonetta, if uh, if you've seen recently, man, Sonetta, he, he was on a phone call with uh, Alizé. And uh, Sonetta, <laughs> Sonetta even cussed him out. Okay? And the, and the Gentiles, <laughs> the Gentiles are getting that Sakari, man. All right? But, uh, but uh, again, you know, I'm, I'm closing closing this video out on that note. You know, uh, again, man, you know, it's, it, the, the spirit is really revealing who's who, who's who belongs to this truth, who really is a follower of Yahweh Shai, and who's not. Okay, and it's evident who who are the followers of Yahweh Shai. Okay, it it is the only ones that you see that are uh, trying to the best best of their ability to uphold the ways of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the ways of our Lord Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, are the men of Great Millstone. That's the only, we're the only men that's, that's doing that, you know, through through the Spirit, you know, and the Spirit is revealing, you know, that that's the case, you know, there's nothing bragging or boasting about it, you know, that's, that's, it is what it is. Okay. But um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and off on that note. You know, I'm pretty much hit the point. You know, I'm not going to continue to beat a dead horse. But uh, Lord's will, this, uh, this was uh, indeed edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, to next time, once again, I want to give all praise on that glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yehon Shai. Ba'ashim Racha Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule to this day. Shalom, peace and safety. Salutations to the whole elect. Let's continue to labor in this work. Give you due diligence to make your calling and election sure and faith and truth is sincere and all charity. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.